Rated E for everyone. Sega. The world of Sonic is much broader and richer than most people realize. I mean, there's a lot of folks that are, of course, fans of the comics and TV shows, and they know that, you know, there's a lot there. So it was a great chance for us, actually, to look at this huge, huge bunch of stuff and pick really cool things to have the player do. You start out with a vision phase, and that's just getting stuff down on paper, broad stroke, um, what are we making, it's just like this big pile of blue sky craziness, and then your game starts to coalesce into something that's actually realistic and achievable. Then you enter into a design phase, you start establishing art direction. So what's the game going to look like? What are characters going to look like? You're establishing uh, design direction. Then you enter the prototyping phase, uh, and that's where you actually dig into uh, some of the gameplay aspects and some of the harder technical questions. Then you enter the production phase. So it's about modeling all the characters, animating them, making all the levels, putting all the combat in. After that is the, is the finaling phase. Uh, where you're doing polish and, uh, and bug fixing. Story-wise, we wanted to get into all the characters. We wanted to introduce them one, or one by one. We wanted you to see green hills and mystic ruins and uh, Blue Ridge, which I guess has never been in, seen in a game before. We wanted you to fight robots and, and animals and robot animals. <laughs> and then we wanted you to go to strange places that Sonic has never been to before. The bottom line is we wanted you to be able to uh, feel like you're Sonic and be Sonic as you're playing. When considering the visual direction of uh, this new Sonic RPG, we wanted to harken back to a traditional Sonic, a nice flat cartoony look. We wanted to make sure we used very saturated, very vibrant colors uh, in order to have a fun, playful look to the game. We carried that concept through most of the uh, the project, we integrated that with our backgrounds. Uh, our backgrounds are very 2D. Um, they look like classically animated backgrounds. We kept that in mind when approaching a lot of the animation aspects in the game. We kept a very snappy feel to it, a very sharp and fun and energetic look to the animation as well. RPG games are traditionally very kind of slow and plotting almost. And that was one thing we knew we couldn't do with Sonic. We had to make it fast paced. You know, it was very important to us that we pay respect to the types of dynamic movement that he and his, his friends uh, are known for doing, you know, the flying, the jumping, the running, the loops, and then actually be able to, to spin them and, and, and put them in ways that haven't really been done before, i.e. more advanced and complex combat movements, so that they're, they're very uh, choreographed and acrobatic and, and using those abilities in ways that, that players haven't really been able to do it before. I kind of looked at them as a team of uh, superheroes. You know, at Bioware we have great people, so I'm always really proud of, of their efforts and just how hardworking they are. They're passionate, they're smart, they're creative, and it's really an honor for us to work with them. And, and uh, I think I'm just so proud of the hard work they put into Sonic and to make it a great game. Their, their passion, is, it just shines through every time you pick the game up.